Today's video is moving to New York City part one as a fashion business student. I'm a sophomore, but I didn't get to go last year because of COVID. For this video, we're flying out to NYC and spending some time in the city. Hope you enjoy. Hi, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. So today, I'm so excited. We're finally moving to New York, but it's about seven o'clock right now. We have like eight suitcases, but some of them are my parents' suitcases too. So it's not just like all of my stuff, but my stuff does take up like five of those eight suitcases. Our flight goes out at around 10. I think it's like three hours from Colorado to New York City. Then we get in at like 3.30 and then I have tomorrow, which is Friday, and we're gonna pick up some stuff from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then I move into my dorm room on Saturday. Sunday, I'm hanging out with my roommate, and then Monday, school starts. So yeah, I just can't believe school is starting. I feel like summer went by so quickly. Anyway, here's today's outfit. Am I overly dress for the airport? Probably. I'm wearing my Doc Martens with my socks. These biker shorts that I just got are from Aritzia. They're the TNA butter ones. They are so soft and they were way less expensive than like the Lululemon ones or the Athleta one. This t-shirt says like good luck to the future or something. It's from Pretty Little Thing. And then I'm wearing my leather blazer from Glissant. I thought first of all it looked cute with this outfit and second of all it did not fit in my suitcase so we're wearing it. But now I'm just gonna start loading the suitcases in the car. Goodbye childhood bedroom. I will see you at Thanksgiving. So this is the suitcase pile. There's my backpack. Suitcase one, suitcase two, suitcase three, suitcase four, suitcase five, suitcase six, suitcase seven. These two both have my clothes in them. <laughs> that's my carry-on. I can barely fit three snacks into this backpack. That's how full it is. <laughs> in an empty-ish gate right now. Our flight's delayed by like 30 minutes, but that's okay because we don't have any connections, but I got breakfast even though I already had a bagel for breakfast. I got a breakfast burger from Smash Burger, which I think has like a patty, eggs, bacon, potato tots. These look so good. Watch me drop my food onto the floor. That's really good. Okay, so the reason that I have this tote bag full of books is because the pink suitcase you just saw me taking pictures with did not fit into the overhead compartment. So first of all, I almost dropped the suitcase on my head because it was heavy. And second of all, since it did not fit in the overhead compartment, my parents and I had to lift it down and unzip it and take a bunch of the stuff out because I packed it so much. And I was like panicking because I felt so bad for holding up the line. But then it fit after I took my like seven books out. Anyway, the plane flight went well. <laughs> finally got to the hotel as you saw those clips the flight went well it was just a delayed by a little bit but it was fine we just ordered room service and now we're just gonna stay in for the rest of the night and watch TV because we are all exhausted but my face is like still all sweaty from wearing the KN95 mask all day but it would be fun to do a hotel room tour I'm only gonna be staying in this hotel room for two nights but anyway first when you walk into the hotel there's this little counter thing there's like a ton of random drawers there's more random drawers over here there's a closet this is a really nice hotel room I really like it sink mirror like this is such a pretty mirror and there is a makeup mirror which is so nice it gave us some robes a towel bath mat shower toilet then this bathtub is so pretty and it has like a gorgeous view of the city. I think I'm gonna like have my mom take some pictures of me like standing in the tub for a fun photo shoot and you can really see the city. And then there's another little counter thing right here, the TV, all the suitcases, my stuff, and there's a bed right here and then my parents' bed is over there and then there's another really cool view. So yeah, that's the hotel room tour. Talk to you again once we get room service. So the room service just came. I got an orange juice. We got lots of ice waters. It came with bread. I love this room service tray. I just, 
It's so pretty. My mom and I got roasted chicken and then my dad got a steak. That is the steak and then these are the chickens and then we have dessert over there. It looks so good. Okay, so it's the next morning. I put a little bit of curl in my hair. I did the lazy version of it, so I didn't curl it that much. It's more wavy, but I really like how it looks after the new hair dye. We are first gonna go shopping a little bit around our hotel, and then we're gonna go to the pharmacy and also to Bed Bath & Beyond, but yeah, just kind of a running errands, fun walking around day before I move in tomorrow. This is my outfit, if you can even see that. I think I might have to zoom in a bit if I can figure out how to zoom in. <laughs> there we go. So the sunglasses, Glasses are from Amazon. They're green. I really like the look of them. This mask is from Lovelina on Etsy. This shirt is Zara. Shorts are Levi, but I got them at Nordstrom Rack. And this really cool bag I just got from Zara, and I'm just wearing my Doc Martens again. Okay, so I grabbed five things to try on. Hopefully these are cute. I really like this sweater. It's super comfortable and this pom-pom is the cutest. So I really like the look of this oversized sort of shirt. It's super comfortable. It's like a suede material. And then I have these jeans on, which are this cool pattern. I really like the look of these. I really like this pink sweater. This is so soft. It's like the color of that shirt that I tried on in Zara. So we just got some lunch from this Italian restaurant called Serafino, which I really like that word. What did I get again? The Bolognese, I think. And it looks really good. So we're just back at the hotel, obviously, and stopping for a little lunch break. This looks really good. Ooh. Yeah, um, it's like fogging up the camera, but this looks delicious. Okay, so we finished lunch. It was delicious. I ate it probably too quickly because it was so good. But now we are going to Uber to this pharmacy that sells pepper spray. The reason we have to go to this one in particular is certain ones are approved, I guess, in New York City to sell pepper spray. I also bought the wrong phone chargers at Best Buy that I showed in my back to school haul. It turns out those ones were for the new iPad, which I don't have, so I just gave them to my dad but I do need to pick up some phone chargers because they were labeled incorrectly and they should have worked. <laughs> We just picked up the pepper spray. Now we're gonna head to the bookstore in Bed Bath and Beyond. Cool car. My dad said to take a picture of that, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so it's a bit later. We are back at the hotel. It was super hectic in Bed Bath & Beyond, so I didn't really film that much in there. But we're back now. It started raining, hence the umbrella on the floor. But honestly, the rain felt really nice because it was super hot out today. Or at least I think it was hot, maybe. It wasn't actually that hot. I just get hot easily. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow, a 90% chance too, which is just great because that's the day we're moving in. But that's okay, everything is in suitcases, so it doesn't really matter if the suitcases get wet. First thing I got is hangers, which are already over there-ish. But I also got a couple of other things. It's literally in a trash bag because they didn't have any bags and we had like a fair amount of stuff, so it's in a trash bag. So I got some body wash. This packaging is super cute. And then I got a carrot or cucumber, whatever, peeler. These are always nice to have. If you didn't know, we have an apartment style dorm, so that's why I'm getting all these kitchen stuff. A can opener. That Bed Bath & Beyond it was so crowded. There are so many other like college people buying stuff. Um, 
a, what is this, a metal spatula, cotton rounds, salad tongs, what are these called, like the liquid measuring cups, they put them in these mini bags just so they won't break, but they look like this, these are really nice for obviously measuring stuff, but also reheating coffee in the microwave, and then we got some microfiber reusable cleaning cloths just, just to like wipe down the counter and such, alcohol swabs, and I just got a bottle of soap, I got two of these, these glass microwave safe containers so you can put these in the microwave and you can also store food in these i really like the look of these i may order more of these online and then from zara you saw me try this stuff on but i just thought i would show you again because it was kind of loud in there the first thing i got is this sweater it's so cute it almost looks like a watermelon and it has these little pom-pom buttons so i thought this was like a perfect fall Piece. Then I got these jeans, which are just so cute. I think these are a really fun fall pants. This is a black button-up shirt. I can wear this like out and about. It's the perfect basic. There's like a little bit of ruching right here. I really like that. Some of this stuff is my dad's. <laughs> but the last thing that I got is this like pink shirt jacket. It's suede. It's so soft. I got a large because I wanted to be able to layer with it. And when I get a small, you can't like layer anything under it, but I want to be able to put like a sweater underneath it. I also forgot to show the books that I got. I first of all, I started Beach Read on the Plane by Emily Henry. She wrote People We Meet on Vacation. This is really good so far, and I just love a rom-com. But then at the bookstore, I got Normal People by Sally Rooney. I've heard really good things about this. It's just a fiction book. And then I got If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. I also saw this book on TikTok because I literally get all my book recommendations on TikTok. But this is kind of like a mystery. It sounds really good. And then I got another rom-com. It's called How Sweet It Is by Dylan. Newton. Can't wait to read these. I think I'm going to read these tonight and also edit some videos. My mom and I both got these like rainbow cake cookie things. I thought there was just going to be one of them, but they gave us three each. So do we think that's enough? I think so. Am I going to eat all three of them? Probably. Then my mom got a salad and here are the pizzas. So this is the one my dad got. And then this is the one my mom got. It's mushrooms. It smells so good. And I love the little pizza table. And then this is the one I got. Okay, I did not think it was going to be this big. But it looks so good and it's nice and thick. Look at the little tables too. I can't wait to eat this. This looks delicious. <laughs> That's so good. So that was it for part one. Stay tuned for part two where I actually move into the dorm and get settled into college. That video will be up really soon, but I really hope you enjoyed. Get ready for all of the other New York vlogs and thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want to. Subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell on. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more fashion and lifestyle content and I'll see you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.